But first, during the pandemic, the El Paseo Community Garden in Pilsen served as a home away from home for many. Now with the city back open once again, garden leadership is looking at how they can better utilize the space to serve the community that surrounds it. Arts correspondent Angel Edo introduces us to an artist in residence who's creating a new piece for the garden with a little help from garden goers. It's like a physical like place of abundance uh, where so many people are caretaking together. Artist in residence Marcela Torres is bringing Pilsen's community together in a new project at the El Paseo Community Garden. Earlier in the year I was working on this project that had to do with Mesoamerican uh, like afterlifes and thinking about like how do we think about life and death as just continues and after COVID you know we're thinking about a lot of ways of grieving and how is this a process that is cultural and specific to a group of people but also gives like moments of celebration and joy. We're making a tobacco uh, garden and then having these uh, ceramic vessels and uh, ritual offering spaces. Then the other site is an adobe brick monument. So it's a location where people can sit and meditate. These two new pieces will sit near the garden's entrance. Now Torres believes including the community in her creative process is crucial. Pilsen would be a very important place to come and do this project. We know that this space is changing. It's been gentrified and it's not all Latin American anymore, but still like having this cultural site where people can come together and even if you're not like Latinx or, or Brown, you know, like you can still like give respect to these kind of belief systems. Paula Acevedo agrees. As co-director, she says the space works to serve everyone. That's why their art classes are just the beginning. We offer several ways for people to get involved, all kinds of people, all backgrounds, all ages. And so there's the general membership, which could be a membership for beekeeping, membership for gardening. Gardening, we offer allotment beds or the collective gardening beds, which includes like the collective shared beds, the community free food beds, and then a, a small incubator farm area. We have almost over an acre of land that we are the stewards of. And so everything is volunteer managed, volunteer maintained. We also have now a brand new wellness coalition, which is working on providing a lot more. Besides yoga and meditation, we have Flamenco Fridays. And this year we are offering a community drawing class. They were also invited to do a community paint day. And while they work to secure more funding to create more programs and opportunities, Acevedo says they want the community garden to continue to be a gathering space that the family they've created can be proud of. Essentially, we're an outdoor community center, and so the sky's the limit. As long as there's people willing to put the work in or offer something accessible to the community, this space is for everyone. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. Those two new garden additions are expected to be completed by early fall. Again, the El Paseo Community Garden offers a multitude of free programs from drawing classes to beekeeping and everything in between. You can visit our website for more information on how to sign up.